Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, today's update is about Forex market. We have British Pound, Euro, we're going to discuss Canadian Dollar, and we'll look at US Dollar, and I think we have Japanese Yen with us too. So I'm going to discuss these markets. First of all, uh, when I was doing some studies, and I'm still doing studies on a lot of studies on WDGAN analysis. Uh, the problem with WDGAN analysis is nothing is written in, in plain English. Every single statement that GAN has made, almost every single statement, has some hidden meaning. So you have to kind of, you know, make, do your own research. And he has just mentioned that research in a way that you can tell once you are there, you can tell that what he's talking about. But before beforehand, you cannot tell about it. So we have seen, we were expecting for the price of Euro to go all the way right over here, in, from over here. In this case, we have seen a pullback. Now this, uh, the pattern that is in front of you is not something that I normally use. I tend to use Elliott Wave Analysis and Cycle Analysis and WDGAN Analysis. And f it is from WDGAN Analysis that it's still showing a bullish, uh, the WDGAN studies is still showing a bullish move is expected a sharp a bullish move is expected in uh, in British pound right now so could that actually come uh, by looking a possibility of it that if it's going to come what technical uh, technicality uh, or technical indicators are there and then I realized that we have a reverse head and shoulder pattern so the point to understand is that this study which is in front of you was made after the fact of WD GAN studies and it indicates that we have a sharp move is expected this study itself this one had a reverse head and shoulder pattern does not indicate a sharp price movement is expected all right here it took a lot of days but WD GAN from them from this top to this one right over here it has taken quite many days but WD GAN study is indicating that maybe within the next, next two days including today this small bar including this day and another couple of days alright so including this day and two more days there's a possibility that we are going to see a strong price movement all the way right over here the whole reason I wanted to share this guy uh, I have not used this uh, as I said that I'm still doing some studies especially with WD GAN study I have I realized that I have done a lot of studies but still it's, it's an ongoing process so I wanted to share with this you guys that I'm expecting for British pound to be strongly moving upward and when I converted that study into regular technical studies I realized that we have a reverse head and shoulder pattern now this pattern although exists in a British pound let's have a look I, I don't think so this pattern ex actually exists in in Euro uh, let's have a look in US dollar first okay Let, let's we see if we can if there's a possibility can we see ah uh, yeah this does exist kind of in US dollar too alright here is uh, I hope that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing right now. I'm considering this whole price movement as uh, this one is a left shoulder and this is a neckline and then we have head and then we have uh, this one right over here and this is kind of left right shoulder. All right. So this is the first pullback and the right shoulder and this is left shoulder. So I'm expecting that the prices actually should come downward in that regard. Uh, how long is going to be? Uh, this is Canadian dollar. This is not US dollar. This is Canadian dollar. Okay. Let's have a look if we can actually make sense of. Uh, it's okay. This is the first leg. Uh, this is our fifth left shoulder, and that's our head. So this hole is. Uh, give me a moment. Let me put that. And this is our right shoulder. And then this is expected. Okay which is I think I managed to it should be something like this uh, but it went further down so this shoulder went further this neckline went further down but we have seen that this does happen with the head and shoulder pattern this does happen so it's kind of still we are seeing a head popped up and we can see that the prices went up they're kind of finding support in that region uh, could that be happening soon so we can see that pattern itself is emitting kind of in Canadian dollar in British pound let's have a look in uh, US dollar itself whether it's, uh, it's popping out so we cannot see let's have a look on a hourly time frame maybe are we missing something let me zoom. okay 
okay no we don't see we don't have this and US dollar is showing a similar behavior that we have and as per my analysis of WD GAN analysis and this analysis has nothing to do with uh, uh, you know with the Elliott wave analysis because at this point it is very very hard uh, to say using Elliott wave analysis that you're gonna see sharp reward, sharp price downward all right unless we are so strong that okay we can definitely see a W right over here A B C and an A B and C so unless you know I don't know an analytician who can say that with a very high confirmability uh, high high level of confidence that okay we can consider this as W and this as X and a sharp price movement downward is expected I uh, don't think so all right so right now what we're expecting in US dollar is a sudden price movement downward and let's see what happens I'm uh, very very uh, impatient to see if it actually plays out Japanese Yen let's have a look what's happening uh, and Japanese Yen is something which is matching gold now I told you guys that it looks like Japanese Yen has created a bottom right over here since uh, the US dollar is going to go down uh, that would actually make Japanese Yen stronger and gold yes, I mean that would make gold stronger and Japanese Yen both stronger so in that case we are expecting a pullback and that still holds all right and that pullback should be strong here as well because we are seeing a sudden drop in uh, in uh, in US dollar let's have a look in euro do we have some fundamental analysis a uh, fundamental data that's coming tomorrow I'm not even sure let me have a quick, quick look all right this is what we're expecting in euro we're expecting that we are gonna see some sharper move upward let me do a quick look on um, on fxstreet.com to see if we have some fundamental uh, data to be released tomorrow. Nothing. As you guys can see, there is nothing. Up there. We have some important data being released in Canada at 8:30 a.m. Uh, but as far as uh, but as far as other markets are concerned we have medium level of data being released in Brit in Britain and nothing special Indust industrial production uh, here and that's interesting all right so what's going to cause what's going to cause that sudden price in the certain movement in the price or is it even is going to happen or not so I just wanted to throw it out uh, studies are still in progress especially WD GAN is extremely extremely hard to to study uh, but uh, I wanted to share it with you guys let's see how things go wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye